is Kevin with softwaremedia.com and today I'm going to be running you through a basic tutorial using the new Corel Painter 11 software. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do today, what I'm going to show you how to do um, is take this photo here of a nice boat on some dry land and turn it into a pretty good looking um, oil still life painting. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this uh, quickly and easily using Corel Painter 11. Okay, so um, once you have Corel open, you want to get your photo open, and the first thing you want to do is create a clone of your photo. Um, just go to File, Quick Clone here. Um, basically what this does is just creates a copy of your photo, and... Um, starts you off with a blank white canvas you can see over here and what we have here is basically an overlay um, or tracing paper if you will of our um, boat photograph for some guidance um, this little button over here underneath the closed window uh, toggles the tracing paper on and off and if you hold it down you can actually change the transparency of your tracing paper uh, the lower you go on the percentage the more the uh, boat photo will show through Okay, so now you have your clone set up. Um, first thing you want to do, um, first thing I always do is create a new layer for each and every um, step that I'm working on. That way you kind of preserve your work and if you make any mistakes, uh, you can just uh, delete that layer and go back and start over. So now that we have a new layer, uh, what we want to do is um, set up our paper first and foremost. Um, click over here on the left and I think today what we want to use is the artist canvas so we'll select artist canvas there and um, basically sets up our texture um, once you have that done uh, you can go over here to your brush tool and we're going to be using the simple cloner brush today uh, what that does is picks up uh, color and uh, hue information from our underlying photo so you really don't have to uh, work with colors at all it makes it nice and easy to get started um, so that on the cloner uh, brush menu here the first thing we want to use is the chalk cloner uh, we want to use a nice big uh, brush size. We're just basically going to be filling in um, the background of our canvas here um, with some color information to kind of fill up some space. So we have our brush at uh, about 50, opacity at 60, and the grain at 12%. <clears throat> Those are all uh, good settings here just to get started. So what you want to do is just nice big broad brush strokes. Um, you just kind of want to add some uh, texture to your canvas and um, we'll start working with our background and our sky here first uh, don't worry about filling in the gaps completely we're just um, trying to get some background information on the Um, so if you want to turn off the tracing paper, you can see exactly um, what we've done so far. Uh, without the tracing paper on there, you can see it's uh, quite vague. You can't really tell what's going on. It's just more um, some background color information that's going to help once we get some uh, oil on the canvas here. So we'll turn our tracing paper back on. And um, next thing we want to do is switch brushes to uh, the oil brush cloner. Um, there we are. So with the oil brush we're going to um, start adding in um, some texture and basic outlines of our shapes. Uh, so I want to start with kind of our focal point of our photograph here which is the boat. I set my brush I read about 20 and my opacity is at uh, 72. So what you want to start doing um, you uh, get going here is uh, just kind of tracing the outline of your boat.
All right, now that that's done, we want to switch to a little bit uh, of a bigger brush here. Let's get something up around 30. And we'll start um, just painting in our uh, ground here that the boat is sitting on. Once again, I kind of want to switch to a slightly bigger brush. I want to just put in some highlights here for the clouds. Um, so we'll make some uh, kind of just broad, generalized um, strokes here for the clouds. Let's bring down our brush size just a little bit. We'll start. Uh, Giving it some texture. Okay. Now I want to bring it down just a little bit more. And we'll start filling in some of the sky around the clouds. Again, just to uh, be pretty liberal um, with the application here. Can't really screw it up too bad. It's. Um, Going more of a, for an impression and style, still life. We're not really um, doing anything super detailed here. Okay, so, so you can turn off your tracing paper and kind of see what we're looking at. And uh, basically, you just want to go through here and uh, fill in your gaps and uh, highlight the edges of your clouds here and uh, make sure everything's all filled in and looking great. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay, as you're finishing up here, um, our next step is going to be to switch to the Smeary Bristle Cloner. Um, what we want to do is uh, select the brush there and then s create a new layer. And kind of our objective with this brush is to uh, just bring out some highlights on some of the edges of our main uh, important elements here in the photo. Um, so if you turn our uh, transparency back on, it kind of helps you um, navigate and um, find the edges here. And um, once you uh, kind of have the edges highlighted, you can turn your transparency back off and you can see exactly what's going on here um, with your smeary bristle, br bristle brush. Um, so just kind of find the important parts of your photo and go to work. Um, I'm kind of highlighting the boat here and uh, some of the horizon. And if you um, look at the layer uh, below, which is our oil paint layer, layer, you can turn that off to see exactly um, what this brush is doing um, as you're highlighting here. So I'm going to kind of go through and um, make sure everything's looking good and add some details uh, to our edges here. Okay, so as you're finishing up here with your smeary bristle brush, what you can do is go up to effects and under tones, um, you can adjust the brightness and contrast of our photo here. So what we kind of want to do is just bump up the contrast a couple of notches here. Basically just uh, make our colors pop a little more. You can see it uh, brings out the reds here on our boat a little bit better and uh, just give us a little bit uh, better feeling for the painting overall. Um, and yeah, we switch back to our photo. You can see the original and the final here. It's looking pretty good. Um, so basically that's how to take any photo and turn it into a good oil still life in just a few minutes using Corel Painter 11. This is Kevin. Thanks for watching.